When the trigger is pulled, it pushes the sear forward, making the hammer go forward and strike the firing The expanding hammer. gases propel the bullet forward and pushes the slide backwards, thus extracting the casing. As you can see, the recoil spring is compressed as the slide is pushes backward. The spring would take it back into place and chamber another cartridge. The main spring has a big roll as it keeps the hammer up and down. When the slide gets pushed backward, the magazine spring pushes another cartridge into the gun chamber. When the slide comes back into place, it chambers the cartridge and is ready to fire again. When the firing pin strikes the bullet's primer, it causes an explosion which propelled the bullet forward and out of the gun. The bullet consists of the primer, the ignition compound, and an anvil as the firing pin strikes the primer, it ignites the gunpowder, sending the bullet out of the gun at an insane speed. When the slide is pushed back, it forces the casing out of the gun. You can see the incisions that are cut into the hammer, which allows the sear to hold it in place and release it. Like I mentioned before, the expanding gases push the slide backward and it resets the hammer and the sear holds it back and it is ready to be reloaded and fired.